Mac electronic search system. I'm going to show you how it works and how you can use it. Let's start. Hi, my name is Martis. I make daily video about legal, business, and intellectual property. What is intellectual property? Think about trademark, copyright, and other intellectual property. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe. In this video, I'm going to talk about trademark search engine. So I'm going to show you how the search engine works and how you hopefully can use it. First thing is, let's go to Google and I'm going to show you how to go to the trademark engine. So when you're at Google, just type TM view. And you need to make sure that you press tmdn.org. So you press that. Thing is, online you will find a lot of trademark search engines and I'm used to this one, so I try to use this one. If you are in a certain kind of country, the, re the region has a trademark urgent in your language, doesn't matter. So all of these trademark urgents, um, engines are connected with each other, so you don't have to worry about that. So when you press this link, you will um, be on this website. This is a trademark search engine. You see it's worldwide connected with each other. And you see you have a lot of options. When you search something, here you will find the last searches that you did. Thing is, I'm on incognito, so you cannot see what I searched last time. So, you have Territorial's office. So, if you are, let's say, if you're in Europe, you can look for the office that are in Europe. So, um, when you press here, you can choose it. If you're in Australia or Argentina, you can press here the office and then look for the trademark there. That's one way. Or you can also look at the territorium and then you could choose an, um, uh, an region, let's say Europe, you press it and then you look for a trademark there. So that's one way. Another way is um, you can look for trademark in a class. In order for you to explain what classes are and you can look here, you have different kind of classes, 1 until 45, yes. And then there you can look for certain kind of trademark. I advise you not to do this because when you look for a trademark, try to find trademark uh, in different classes because sometimes if you register a trademark, people can hold it against you. So it's a long story. I'm not going to talk about that for now. It's just how does this work? When you look for something, do not limit yourself for one class. Try to look also in other class when you look for a trademark. So, um, so we have the trademark engine here and the thing is we're going to look for some examples uh, one famous brand is just do it from nike so i just do it i'm going to look it up and we press here thing is if you have a picture of png file you can look it up here with uh, you can upload it and the search engine will help you find the trademark it's easy to do but we're not going to do that in this video in this video we're going to do just word uh my trademark so when I press just do it, it's important to know if you know the um, trademark, you can just put contains. But begins with and with for the search of is, uh, it's evident what this is. But for people that don't know that when you use search engine, you can give the search innocent kind of um, specific filters or specific tags when you look for trademark. I'm not going to discuss that here, I'm just going to show you how it works. So if I press search, it's gonna search for just do it. It may take a while, maybe there are a lot of um, search results, maybe there, are, there isn't. But just do it is from Nike, and Nike is in a big company, and you can find it in a lot of um, regions in the world. So if you look at here, you see here you have a lot of search results, and what you need to, for, uh, remember is the following <coughs> trademark status if it ends it speaks for itself but if it's registered that's something you need to look for so if you're doing some trademark research you need to make sure that it's registered if you look at the filter here you can go down if i'm correct you can put the status of so a trademark here status and you can press this it will filter only on registered trademark that's how you can do it and the thing is, you can also use for application name. So if you're looking for Nike, we can look for Nike somewhere here. And here you see here, Nike has a lot of uh, firms. You can look for it and you can see what kind of trademark they have registered. 
in, yeah, in the system. So this is how it works. You can use filter to filter out and you can also export all your findings so you can show it to your client or whatever or keep it for yourself yeah, when you are doing trademark research so you know next time when you create a trademark you need to keep in mind with these kind of trademark. But the important is trademark register for goods or services. Here you see the class, look for it and the application date is really important. Yeah. So that's about this, about this trademark engine. Almost every engine works the same. If you have questions about it, feel free to contact me. If you're new to this channel, feel free to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.